Good morning. It is Thursday, October 5th, 2023. Day five, actually day six of um, just doing bacon and eggs, kind of doing a detox. Um, I didn't work out yesterday afternoon, which would have meant going walking yesterday afternoon, which kind of sucks, but I got home later than I anticipated that I would. And by the time I got home, I got settled in and I had to stop by my father-in-law's and um, had to stop at the store. Uh, it just, you know, time got away from me and I did not want to go ahead and go walking yesterday afternoon and then wind up eating dinner late because then that would affect my ability to go to sleep last night. So anyway, I got home too late yesterday to work out. And I didn't get up early to go do it today, so I'm gonna have to go walking this afternoon. Uh, I'll need to get three miles in today, definitely, since I didn't work out yesterday. So, anyway, um, like I said, it's day six of me basically being on bacon and eggs, and today is the day that I woke up and I could tell that my bloating was way down, and I mean way down. Um, I basically only ate a bunch of bacon yesterday. I had a bunch of bacon yesterday, but I basically only, oh no, I had a little bit of ground beef last night just to kind of get things stirring around in, in my, in my stomach along with some eggs for dinner. And, uh, that did it. But I woke up this morning and just, you know, feeling great. I can tell that my bloating has gone way down. I look a lot skinnier. When I got in the shower this morning, I looked a lot skinnier. Um, I haven't been on the scale. I don't know when the last time I got on the scale was. And I'm I'm trying to not go by the scale. I think it's, it, it's important to know what you weigh if you have a goal to get to, but I've been trying to not stay on the, to not just, it's not a part of my everyday life because, and I don't know about anybody else, but it can drive me crazy to think too much about what the scale says. I, and I'm sure other people out there, can become obsessive over the scale. So I just, I haven't been on it. I haven't been on the scale in a month and a half, maybe two months, I, I don't even know. Maybe since I started doing carnivore for a year, uh, which was the beginning of August, so. I don't know. I don't know when the last time I was on the scale. Uh, I probably should check that. Maybe at the end of, of October, I'll check the scale and see what that says. And in all honesty, I don't remember what it said the last time I was on it. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm pulling into work. I've got a site visit with a client today and, um, it's not for another 45 minutes, but I needed to come in and get some work done before I meet with her. Uh, but I just wanted to give a little quick update. I'm going to walk this afternoon. It's supposed to rain at some point. And everybody that knows anything about me knows that I'm a big sissy when it comes to doing the workout. If it's raining outside, if it's sprinkling outside, I won't get up and do it. But I've, I've committed myself for October. I didn't work out yesterday, so working out today is a must. So if that means that I need to wait until 10 o'clock tonight, if it rains till 10 o'clock tonight, and then go do it, then that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so anyway, yes, I'm at work right now. And feeling great. Like, like I said, today is day six of doing almost just bacon and eggs. And it's, I feel amazing like although it's really weird because I didn't really want to get up this morning um, but I think that was because my dogs woke me up last night at 1130 or so they wanted to go outside so I got up and let them out and it took me a little while to get back to sleep so that may have had something to do with it um, I still got a lot of quality deep sleep last night according to my watch anyway because I sleep with a grounding sheet on my bed um if you haven't heard of it you really need to look into it grounding or earthing is where you either 
just go outside and put your bare feet on the grass and um, just let nature do its thing, which is it removes all the positive electrons out of your body. Um, or you use a grounding product that you can use inside um, that does the same thing. And I like to do a combination of both. I like to go outside and sit outside and just listen to a book and you know just be out there for 20 or 30 minutes and get to feeling better that way but I also have a grounding sheet that I lay across the bottom of my bed that my feet touch all night long that's grounding me and I sleep so hard with that thing look uh, check out a couple of YouTube videos on grounding or earthing and there's a lot of people out there that say, well, it heals this and it heals this and it reduces inflammation and it does this and whatever. And I don't notice any other benefits other than that I sleep super, super hard at night. Um, it's the most amazing thing that I've maybe ever seen. And if there aren't any other benefits that I get from it, um, just sleeping better at night is a game changer. The sheet costs like $50. Um, that's a lot of money in a lot of households. And in my household, that's, you know, definitely nothing to sneeze at either. But well worth it. It's an investment. Um, you get it. You plug it in. You put it on your bed. And you sleep with your feet on it. And that's all you've got to do. And you will sleep so much better than you ever have in your life. I promise you. Um, it sounds a little hokey. It sounds a little hippie. But... I don't care. I'm a firm believer. Um, any other benefits that I get from it, uh, I don't know that I really notice. But the sleep, I'll take that all day long. Anyways, enough of that. Okay, so it's uh, 20 after 8. I'm going to head inside and look at a couple of emails and get some things situated before my meeting this morning. Uh, I hope everybody has a great day. It's Thursday, October 5th, 2023. And uh, we'll catch everybody later.